All right. After the last episode, I felt like Armageddon was going to arrive. It kind of did, but it really wasn't that bad. But I do feel like this one may be the real Armageddon. Anyways, this is Auto Rocket Racing 94 here with another episode of Morgan Shepard Championship Mode here on NASCAR Heat 2. We're going to run race 22 through 24 as we're getting down to the home stretch of the regular season. Here I am, fifth in points. I'm ahead of certain people that I need to be ahead, which are mostly Ryan Reed and Blake Cook. I got eight wins on the board. Here's what happened in the last episode. I somehow got a 10th place finish in Iowa after finishing 40th the first time around. Somehow won Watkins Glen. I wasn't too concerned about the track. But look at this one. Mid-Ohio, I somehow won. Yeah, I had to use the bumper to take William Byron out, but I felt like I could have probably passed him without the need of, of the bumper, but... At that moment of the regular season, this moment of the regular season, I need to get as many points as possible. Without further ado, before we show you what race we're going to run, in this episode, here are the point standings. As you can see, I'm fifth in points. I'm barely ahead of Ryan Reed. There's Justin Allgaier, Eric Jones, William Byron, Elliott Sadler, all ahead. The only one I can probably catch is maybe Justin Allgaier, but my goal is to stay in fifth in points. Here is the top 20. Mr. No Business to be inside the top 20 Harrison Rhodes, hopefully. And hopefully we can knock him out at least to 19th. And here are the rest of the points standings going into this race. You have a couple of big names in here. Logano, Custer, Reddick. You have a lot of key guys at the bottom like Hemrick, Matt Tiff. Both guys that are in the real playoffs. So here's the schedule. We got Bristol. The last time we ran in Bristol, we won, if I recall. Yeah, we won this one. So it should not be a problem wherever we start. Where America is going to be the ultimate walker. And then there's Darlington. So it's not going to be fun after Bristol, for sure. Road America is as bad as Mid-Ohio. Hit the grass, you're pretty much done. But if I, become, if I be patient and slow down wherever I need to slow down and play a little puppy, then maybe we're going to be okay. We gotta use that technique. Darlington is the one where I have no idea. That's the one where I had to be careful. And then after that, there should be at the very least four episodes because the next one is gonna be Richmond and Chicago Land. Only two races because I do not want to start this one as the end. I want to do the last two. Then after that, it'll be two more episodes of the Serie race, and then the last one will be Homestead. Hopefully, it's a championship mode. So what I have to do here is the, what I do, 100 difficulty, 13%, all flags, three stages, blah, blah, blah. I decided that I'm going to try and bother to do qualifying for Darlington and Bristol. No point to do one at Road America. There really is no point to do it at, at Road America. So the goal is, is to sweep Bristol. Can we do that? We shall find out. But I feel like doing qualifying in general will be an absolute waste of time, especially at Darlington. Because if I think if I recall... No, I think that's just only the first video I ever done of NASCAR Heat 2 where I had where I started dead last. We'll see. I don't know. No, I don't think I did it at all. I did. I, it's been a while. It's been about a month since this game came out. Anyways, there's good old Daniel Suarez with the picture, and we're back here at Bristol. Look at this beautiful 89 car, eight wins. Who would have thought at this moment I got eight wins when I tried as I thought I would probably be lucky to get two, but. Shows you some tracks have been lucky, some tracks have to be desperate, and some tracks have just like pretty good at it. So here we go. Let's waste our time doing qualifying. I saw it on, 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 on um, somebody else's live stream that Gran Turismo Sport came out and hit the wall. Yep, I'm gonna start that last anyways. If we can stop hitting the wall, that would be great. Nope. Alright, we'll keep it in the wall. We'll start dead last. I saw a video stream that Grand Trace before had a track that looked like Bristol. Yeah, keep hitting the wall. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, we needed that. Oh, 18th. Alright, never mind. Probably our best qualifier we had since Indy. Of course, Mr. No Business, Harrison Rhodes qualified 10. We gotta fix that, as we're at the night race at Bristol. Brittany's car along. Nice to see a fellow bark marker. Uh, great, that's what I needed to start at the, bo at the bottom. So, oh, sorry, KZK, we got problems already. Problems already. We haven't even touched the start-finish line. We already have a caution. 
Sorry, Casey. I'm trying. I'm trying to. I'm trying to go down. I'm trying to because I'm so hell bent on kicking Harrison Rose out of the top ten that I have to do everything to get make that possible. But most importantly, I'm in the bottom. I'm in the bottom, so we're good. And with that, I'm going to the restart. Oh, boy. Harrison Rose, what an embarrassment in this game. He has no business to be in the top 10. No business to be anywhere near the hunt. This is, this is the first stage. This is huge. This would be a huge stage points implications right here. Come on, Brandon Poole. I'll try to help you out. Oh, man. Tight, tight, tight. I got by Ryan Reed. Thank goodness. We need to be ahead of Ryan Reed. This could be a patty cake in the race, the way we're running. But most importantly right now, we're ahead of all the guys that we need to be ahead, including Justin Allgaier. At this moment, he's my target to get as many points as possible. We kind of don't want Eric Jones to get a playoff point, so let's see if we can catch him at the very least. I'm not hitting the wall. I didn't hit this wall. I didn't hit the wall that many times when I played Bristol the last time. I don't know why I'm hitting it now. Alright, here we go. Okay, I Seller don't want to pin him through the wall. Oh, there might be a chance. Yep, you deserve that tight Owen. There might be a chance. Oh, it won't be a chance, but let's see if I can do something about William Byron. Get to the bottom, get to the bottom. Easy, easy. All right, we'll take second. Fine, we'll take second. We're in the front row anyways. We're in the front row anyway, so we're fine. And Elliot Sadler decides that he's better than me, so he decides to go by me. But none of that matters. Oh boy, this is gonna be hell. I'm in the I'm in the high line in this game. The high line is hell. All right, great restart. But can we clear him? No, we cannot. But right away, we're at the bottom. Hold that bottom because those JR cars want to kill me. Oh, I did not want to do that. But can you correct it? Oh, nope. Hey, this is Morgan Shepard's the new intimate area. I've got to intimidate the field. So now, it's just a matter of riding around. Hopefully Harrison Rhodes does not score any stage points. And go out and find ourselves another victory here at Bristol. We get win number nine and also sweeping this last Coliseum. I'm even surprised I qualified 18 Gs. Brokers, you really don't need to qualify because you can gain as many track decisions to be and you probably will get a playoff, a be stage point. Excuse me, playoff points for stage one and two are the ones who win the stage. Not everybody gets it. I remember that. I mix them up all the time anyway, so. I really did want Eric Jones to win at Bristol in the cup race, but then again, you, I thought, if I was sweeps Bristol again, all three races, then. I would not be too mad about it. But look what happened. Because of that, Eric Jones did not make the playoffs. And had he made the playoffs, I think he would have probably got Rookie of the Year away from Taurus. So far, so good. Eric Jones is in fourth. I can take as many points away from all my contenders possible. Because Mid-Ohio will... Because this is going to be the only race where I feel like I can get a huge momentum boost. And it will be three straight wins, which I don't think I've done at all in this championship mode. I'm not, I'm not looked at the schedule. After I'm done playing this game, I just mind my own business and just worry about my personal stuff. Don't worry about anything else. And look at this. We're already going to lap the field. Maybe we'll, we'll barely lap the field. Lap the field. Okay. I think we might lap the field. I don't know. Let's see. 
See how many people got the puppy out of that throttle just to not hit the wall? I think we're gonna... Let's see who's in last. Who's gonna be the last car winner? This is battle. It looks like JJ Yaley. Is the, the guy trying to lap. There's Steven Starr, Steven Light. No, that's not JJ Yaley. That's Delon Lofton. Yaley actually is right up in mid pack in this game. Lofton is not. Kind of wish Jeff Green and BJ McLeod were in this in this championship mode. That we would have more back, real back markers in battle, and then some cast off like Steven Light. I think he's not the last one. Oh. It'll be off for not because Dylan Lufton's going to get the free pass out of this. But coming out of turn number four, Morgan Shepard's going to take stage two. We still have not swept all three stages. And I don't think it'll ever happen because qualifying on the pole is just like, like saying Cole Wynn will get a top ten. Alright, last stage. Let's bring this home. We gotta bring this home. Win number nine. We gotta bring the bacon. All right, terrific restart until that until that hiccup. Right in the corner, we got 15 laps. Kind of like the good old EA games in NASCAR. And then the lowest percentage will be 15 laps. I'm not sure how to play the game again. But anyways, 15 laps to go. We're going on the 14. Let's, like I said, we're bringing this home. For win number nine and three straight wins. We're not going to get five in a row. If, maybe we'll get lucky and run America if I don't hit the grass or the gravel or decide to tip the car over and flip it. Anyway, what was I going to say? Landon Castle, yes, we can uncall with Landon Castle will not be back at Furniture Row. I mean, Front Row Motorsports. I'm just saying Furniture Row. Yeah, imagine Landon Castle being. Eric Jones replacement. I think Castle would be great. One top ten his entire career. Cole Witt has zero. But Landon Castle's only top ten was well, his only top five if I recall. Talladega and the Hillman 40 car, the yellow car, you know? Whatever that that yellow car that was not on NASCAR what was it? NASCAR in 15 and 16. I mean NASCAR 15 and excuse me, 14 and 15. For whatever reason, I don't know, but then again, it is you techniques. I will never put you techniques over at all, other than the paint booth. That's about it, but I've never, I'll never put them over. I'm sorry, a couple gameplays I've saw over the years, no, not my cup of tea. It, the only reason why I have NASCAR 15 after my PS3 pretty much is combusted and ruined is because Jeff Gordon is on the cover. That's pretty much about it. And then, then I was my mindset was on getting the PlayStation 4, and lo and behold, I did. They're my own pocket. Then after that, then in a few days, I'm I'm thinking of probably doing two, a WWE 2K18 universe mode. I don't know about that. I have to figure that crap out as far as what I'm gonna do with 2K18. I'm gonna do my own federation, my own my own company. Three dip, three difference for that. Three different ones for that matter. I'm not sure how am I gonna execute it, but I'll figure something out about it. But anyways, we're about to get out the. We're about to catch lap traffic once again. Yes, it's unfortunate that Landon Castle is out of a ride yet. Cole Wynn most likely will have a ride next year again. If I if if Landon Castle does go Xfinity in the Xfinity series, you know. It will not be terribly mad, but it better be a great ride, so we can finally see how what Landing Castle is capable of. Out of all the guys that are the underdogs, as they call it, like Cole Wynn, Matthew Benedetto, Landing Castle, it's definitely I think Landon. He's been he's survived this long, believe it or not. He has the potential, he just not have the right place right now. As a matter of fact, this season he's done worse than last year. I felt like him in the 30, if I remember he was in the 34, when he was in the 34, he did great. No, 38, he did well, 34, he's not done so well. Sure, the 34 got past that one win with Chris Busher and also all that group, but, but 
He's not messing much with that 38. He's barely ahead of Cole Wick to begin with. He's outside the top 30. So hopefully there's a brand new light at the end of that tunnel. Hopefully it's a good ride in the Xfinity series. Oh, there's Dakota Armstrong. Meanwhile, you have cats like Dakota Armstrong also gone. Meanwhile, Tyler Reddick's career seems to be revived now that he's going to JR Motorsports next year after being part-time this whole entire season after having a pretty stellar Campbell World Truck Series career. If you were to tell me who was I leaning towards, Reddick or Daniel Hamrick, I was a Hamrick guy. Did not mind Reddick, but I was more of a Daniel Hamrick guy. All right, we're on the white flag here at Bristol. We're on our way of our ninth win of the season, a sweep at Bristol, and three straight wins, believe it or not. As the regular season seems to be ending on a positive note for Morgan Shepard. That you need more not a match of the do here at 74 years old, and that is sweep the Coliseum. Look at that. Smoked him, 105 rating. All right, great. Go surprisingly, I qual. I had a great qualifying run, so I'm really happy. Here is your top ten, Mr. No Business Harrison Rose in the top twenty. Worst of all, Brandon Brown, no business. Mike Harmon, thirty first. He escaped him. Poor Bubba. I just tapped him once, and no, he didn't spawn. But then just, just the last car winner today. Anyways, here's the point standings. I'm inching closer on Justin Allgaier, but I'm still 104 points behind Elliot Seller in the regular season. But I think I'm, I think because of this win, I'm probably maxed out on playoff points. Almost. Yeah. Is your hard or true X? At least I can win. <laughs> okay, it's the Xfinity Series, and it's a game. So shut up. Hmm. The renders and animation doesn't look that bad tonight. It looks impressive. Like I mentioned once, and I'll say it again. Graphics is one thing, but it's not my end all be all. Look at Grand Theft Auto San Andreas compared to Grand Theft Auto 3 graphically. Yeah. Which one people talk more? San Andreas. In my opinion, Grand Theft Auto 3 had a little bit better, more polished graphics than San Andreas in my book. Fast Slap 17605. We already showed you the final results. Oh boy. Let's go to Road America. Let's go to Road America and hopefully don't die. <sighs> I don't even know if I even want to bother to qualify him because it's a ro it's a damn road course. I mean, oh boy. Let's try it and let's see where we end up. You guys, you got have, you have your warm up lap. Then we had to do another lap around. It's just not worth it for me. It's just not worth trying. But well, I might as well do this challenge. We got to make this interesting. We got to make this some, worth something because we just saw Bristol was a smoke show. It's Morgan Shepard obliterate, annihilating the field left a quarter of the pack. And yeah, Daniel Suarez on my screen again. Yeah. We might as well rename it Daniel Suarez is here because that's what it's looking like. So we look at the beautiful four mile road course known as Road America. We won both road races somehow. Can we find a way to win the final road course of the season and win all three of them? Do the trifecta. Which I don't think has ever been done in NASCAR. I'm not sure about that. I know a lot of my NASCAR stuff, but there's some little things that I've never really thought about, and that is indeed. Has anybody won three road course races in one season? In one series? I'm sure it's been done across all three. And I'm not sure if it's been done in one division only. Alright, let's see if this is worth qualifying. I love Road America, I like playing it. It's just some parts of the trip. Play Floris. Project Cars 2. It's not bad. R Factor is not bad. It's just the same with Project Hard I think somebody said it correctly. I think it might have been David Land. Oh, 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 okay, okay, okay. Well, I've not smoked the tires yet, so I think I'll break in on time. Good. And then again, I don't know shit about timing. Yeah, you see, look, compared to Watkins Glen, you hit something, you hit grass, you're done. This quest does not look artificial or astroturf. 
Zagrovska. Get off. Get the puppy that thing in. I feel like that running a modified, uh, that road modified road course at Dirt to Daytona had to puppy that thing in. I used to play the living hell on that track when I was young. I treated it like Formula One because there were 20 cars. When I started watching Formula One at 04, there were 20 cars in the, in the grid. So that was, I used to, I trained as a Formula One race. It's one part of the track where everybody hits the wall. It's like, it's, I don't know why, but they get into fantasy road course. It's a little over break. It feels so jetty. All right, right here is where I struggle a lot because there's a, there's a pretty much a blind spot a little bit. As we're coming out to the corner where Matt Tipp and Jeremy Cummins got together. Get the brakes a little bit. All right, here we go. Let's see what happens. That felt hella slow. There's a Verizon sign. Obviously, the Verizon sign is purposely there because IndyCar runs there. The worst thing the weather tag when it comes to IMSA. this move and see if to somehow I get a qualify really well. This game, like I said, is a waste of time to qualify, but for me to, for me for this video, my challenge is to make this very Armageddon like and see how I qualify. Somehow I qualified 18th at Bristol. After hitting a wall every, just about every corner. Alright, we're gonna go break, 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 break. Ooh, so close. But I think that might have hurt my chant, my timing a little bit. Did not use the brakes this time. I eased off of the throttle. Sweep that time. I don't know. <laughs> I can be feel confident, but then after I realized I qualified 40, I was like, oh, well, that was a waste of time. It's rambling on about Road America and qualifying. I've not won a pole in this championship mode for a reason because I qualify last, don't bother to qualify, and when I do qualify, I do crap or decent. Alright, after that shit show, let's see if we actually qualify 40 of because that felt hella slow. And I wish there was a clock nearby, but then again, Dirk the Tones didn't have it. 27. Okay, fair enough. Harrison Rose beat me again. Go fuck a figure. Wow, I guess it'll be car along quite a bit. No oh, green. On a road course, I'm in this line. All right, green flag. Anyways, this is a road course, so I could probably get 8,000 spots in a minute. I can could JJ Haley. The last road course race of the Xfinity Series season is underway. Okay, yeah. Look at this jet. Look at this clog. Oh, don't hit Ray Black Jr. Don't hit Ray Black Jr. That would be a harsh thing to do. Sucks that he has no- Oh! Fuck! Fucking Cole Custer. Jones, I know you're fighting for a playoff spot, but... Morgan Shepard is coming through. You get, you get in Morgan Shepard, you get in Morgan Shepard's way, you get tap. You get a reminder. Alright, I'm gonna have to use... Man, they want your juniors coming on the fight. I cannot hit any more people because if I hit somebody, the caution will come on down to the stage. Look at Daniel Hemrick right up there. Another great run for, for him. Oh, Matt, what are you doing? 
remember, I gotta beat Justin Allgaier. I'm getting there as far as finishing in fourth. And that's my ultimate goal. Because if I'm gonna be a contender in this championship four and get somebody wrecked, I get tenth. Well, so much well the gun was up there, so so much for being Justin Allgaier. More importantly, I'm in the sweet spot. Justin Allgaier feels that that means Two, three, four, five, six. He has a five-point advantage in front of me, so we gotta be. We gotta get. We gotta use our head in this one. Stage two is underway. And surprisingly, I did not pop that caution. It just happened. I have a rabbit's hat. Oh, 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 oh. Remember last time? Remember? I hit William Byron last time, so I don't want to do that again. Even though I just did. And then Poole in the front. He has to win this season. He's already pretty much locked himself into the postseason. But a caution could happen at any time, so I need to be ahead of all Dyer. So far, so good. All right, here we go. Patience. Patience is key in this track. Darlington will be anything but patient. Ooh. We have the run here. That's right. I got it. Hit the brakes, hit the brakes. Oh, hello Brandon Poole. Oh, he did it to himself. He did it to himself. He gave me a tap, and then he just wrecked himself. Come on, come on Poole. I know you're in the playoffs, but you just pretty much gave me this big old lead, as long as I don't hit the grass. Hmm, no caution yet. Surprise. He did that to himself, but then again, if I did it myself as well, the caution will not come out unless there's a five-car pileup. Yeah, that would be, yeah, tell that to Michael and Adam. Hey, I know how my, hey, Brandon, you know, understand how Michael and that feels? Because, you know, did I believe the car should have come out when nobody was in the way? I'm surprised they let the feet of race go under the green without me and Hefs didn't bring out a caution with an X spot. And I'd ultimately end it Michael and that's hope because then we had that little battle between Ryan Reed and Brendan gone. And we're coming to the last left of Steve. We made it through a lap in middle at Road America without a caution. Because every time I play here, there's always, oh boy, Elliot Sadler went off the track, he's in the grass, and somehow he didn't lose anything. Of course, they're trying to rig Morgan Shepard out of a championship. They're rigging me out of a title. Uh, Elliot Sadler did drop the fifth, so we went the last lap of stage two. Maybe I'm, bad, maybe I'm kind of that damn good. I say kind of, because I don't know how... Maybe if I wanted to do, I don't know, say, Colwick Championship World, which will never happen. I'll do it on 105, make my, make it difficult for Colwick to be good. Uh, I'll figure that out. Probably not, because I got a lot of things to figure out. Now. It's a little bit sharp, so I gotta work on that just a bit. I have to use the brake just a little bit more because I almost went off. It's a little bit. What I, I mentioned this probably already. I like it what the uh, details is are nice. Like when you go through the grass, it actually stays. When somebody spins, it actually stays. It doesn't go away. Like. Pretty much every NASCAR game that there is, even NASCAR NR, NR 2003, the, the scratch and the, the wheel marks and everything, the tire marks and the grass marks and all that, they go away. They go away after a while. So that's when they actually do something, so kudos to them. Hopefully in the next game, the gameplay gets exponentially better and the grass becomes more friendly. Is not putting on the five right now, so it looks like we're gonna be on or possibly underway for a road course trifecta. Tenth win of the season. I don't know how and why. 
And this time, I did it clean. I did this one clean so far. Yeah, I hit Cole Custer because I was not thinking of that of myself. And then Brandon Poole decides to wreck himself. And there you go. Another playoff point for the 74 year old master, Morgan Shepard. Let's see where did all guy all right. I pretty much let's see. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, why am I showing in the top 20? Okay, I got 10, got three, seven. So I have, I got two more points than all guy. I got a two point advantage over all guy. So I'm gaining two points over here. If we can stay here, we're pretty much fourth in the standings. But we do have one more stage, and I believe we have four to go. Oh boy, this is gonna be fun running. What is this? Eight minutes of world action of Road America. Man, what do I want to talk about? I already talked about I already talked about Landon Castle. I already briefly gave you a quick thoughts on how I feel about Formula One on ESPN on my last episode. What is there to talk about? Let's see what I want to talk about. Let's see. Do I really want to talk? Do I really need to talk about Jinder Mahal being champion? Jinder Mahal, Trash on Russia. Forget the what is it? The the modern day Maharaja. I call it the Trash O Raja. Cause he's garbage. The jobber out of all people from 3MB a couple years ago. Jinder Mahal is the world champion in WWE. Yeah, sure you drew Galloway now. Drew McIntyre in WWE. Has the NXT Championship and he won the Intercontinental. He was the chosen one. Remember that? He was the chosen one and WWE could do Jeff Jarrett's in WCW. Jinder Mahal, world champion. He's had the title longer than Chris Jericho's lone WWE championship reign, when it was the undisputed WWF championship. He's had a longer reign than Eddie. He has had a longer reign than Edge. Who else is that? I'm pretty sure he's already had a longer reign than the any of Undertaker's title runs and Austin. I'm not sure about Austin though. My question is, will he eclipse JBL and Batista's world title run? Mostly JBLs because he had it like about 280 something days. I don't know, over 200 days. As William Byers got the roids, got the turbo boost. He's fighting on the charge. He's trying to take the lead away, but I'm gonna break him first. He's just like Max Verstappen. He hangs on. Yeah, take that Mercedes. Speaking of Max Verstappen, that was a great run he had in Malaysia. The fact that he got by and he actually held up, that's great. Good for Max Verstappen. I hate him in F116. I hate him. In, I hate him to death in, in the game F116 because he had a really ruined my chance of scoring points at my EWRL debut. He ruined my chance. And then Nico Rosberg decided to do the same thing. And then I just did it to myself and then I said, you know what? Maybe this F1 league is not cut out for me. I need to take a break. I've not got F117. I don't know when I'll get F117. But I do love that they have those classic cards. So the first thing I will do, and probably in running out of running out of talent in the near future, is run the Ferrari V12, the 95 Ferrari. What's that called by my first time in America? But yeah. Yeah, Dr yeah, Jinder Mahal. The fact that he beat Nakamura twice on a pay-per-view, or it's pathetic. It just shows you the WWE is going down the drain. It's been that way for a while. Jinder Mahal, Trash Raja. The fact that next Tuesday, Tuesday, seven days from now, in my neck of the woods, the SmackDown will be there, and Mahal is the world champion. Ridiculous, huh? And I will, and I have that feeling that. The, that the tag titles, the SmackDown tag titles will be defended next week. They're having this number one contender chef with the New Day and Gable and Benjamin. Please, I just hope the New Day are not one of them. If the New Day are not the number one contenders again, and if they somehow do have a tag title match in Seattle next Tuesday, that which I'm still probably thinking of going, just to just be at a WWE event. Just to see the environment. Just, just, you never know, AJ could wrestle. I'm hoping AJ does. Because you know he's the phenomenal one. Go. Yeah, the end game is going to be Mahal champion and Roman Reigns beating Brock at Mania 34. 
It's just gonna be that way. There's nothing, nothing exciting to talk about, but we won't entertain. We'll see. We'll see what happens in this coming tonight. I don't know. I may pay attention to see what happens and see if I'm willing to go to that SmackDown. Now that Kalisto is Cruiserweight Champion, I would not be surprised if it would be a rematch clause coming soon. And it better not do it on Raw or tonight. It better not. Oh, Paul, I know. If I do go, I really wish Officers of Pain get called up and debut next Tuesday. Because if they do, I pay my money. It's, it's worth the price of admission, even though it's overpriced in my book. I mean, we're surprised that the Seattle show will actually be sold near the capacity for both Spartans tickets a lot. It's going to still be tarts up at the arena, most likely. The fact that the hard hand shot is not available, that shows you that they're going to be tarts again. But not a lot of seats, which I'm actually surprised. Maybe I'm actually shocked that they, people want to see the modern day trash a rod shot on their neck in the woods. Oh, oh, careful. Oh, I overbreak this time. First time all day. Ah, all guys in third. Looks like I won't get fourth in the standings. And then comes Darlington, which I'm, that's probably going to be the final nail in the coffin. Darlington. Speaking of Darlington. DLCs for October is coming out soon. I wonder what throwback cards we'll get for the Xfinity series. I'm hoping we get the... I don't know what we'll get. I'm hoping we do get Dylan Left. It's just to kind of run that car. Dylan Left's his car that he drove. And the Jeff Gordon pace came with that odd oh, with the 24 that they used in their actual cars. And that'll be something. Still have one lap to go in this race, jeez. One lap to go coming up here at Road America. That's Morgan Shepard is just four miles away from win number 10. Third road course win, that will be the road course trifecta after going into those races. I'm thinking there's no way I'm gonna win on those three road courses. I did some test runs beforehand and I, I hit the grass and I'm done. But this patience, this patience mentality has really helped me out a lot. And for this one, I worked my way to the front. I did not. I started 27th, and this is 100 level difficult. I guess everybody's saying that the road courses are very easy as long as you run clean and relax without being impatient. It's true. William Byron is trying to trying to pull his best mask for a in a Suzuka. But I gotta think about I gotta think Lewis Hamilton. The problem is there's no lap traffic, there's no Fernando Alonso to help me out. Look at Hamilton, he said that he might be interested in running the Indianapolis 500 after pretty much what I so he tried, he pretty much criticized Alonso doing it this year. It's like, oh, hypocrisy at his finest. He goes, yeah, keep, keep it, yeah, keep it, hypo, keep it real, Lewis, yeah, sure. You, 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 you knocked on it, you, pretty much knocked on Alonso running and now you want to probably run it one day give me a break but it'll be interesting to see how well he does on Ovals I don't expect to see Nigel Mansell good on him as, as far as I have this concern on Ovals I don't see him being the next Nigel Mansell Lord Byron is gaining he may catch me on this straightaway where Captain the line having a vicious crash oh oh don't choke it don't choke it. He's right there. But I beat him last time right here, so everything's gonna be okay as long as I go back to this camera. And then we're good, alright. Alright, it looks like we're gonna be just okay, and the holy miracle of the masses saved me in this one. Morgan Shepard. 
one last corner. He's going to get his World Chris Trifecta 10th win, four in a row for the master of the number 89, Camaro. Because he has no sponsors, but at this moment, they should have sponsored a long time ago. No support. The Armageddon experience has been anything but Armageddon. And I get him 92. What a whimper. I hate speed ratings so much. I really do. Seriously. Oh, we get Salary 7. All gotta drop the fourth. Where's Mr. No Business? 25th. Right where he belongs. Right there. I like it. Carl Logan dead last. Start of last and finish last. Oh, come on. Well, I'm 98 behind Elliot Sadler and two points of, uh, of all guy, but I guess I gotta try to qualify Darlington, I suppose. Here's one thing I've not done in this place, rather than not winning a pole because I mostly just started from the back, is win every race in a single episode. I've not done that, so let's see what happens. But this is Darlington we're talking about. Give me a new challenge. Come on, Mick. Is that all? Is that the best I got? Is this the best competition I have? Oh, Brandon Kong with a fast lap. Here's your top ten again. Brandon Kong in third. Daniel Suarez with a great run. Daniel Hemrick finishes in 12th. It's probably his best win he's ever had. Let's try Darlington. Let's see how we do. This is where Morgan Shepard led a lap this season at Darlington. So we got to do that. We got to make that possible. We got to make that possible. We got to give Morgan Shepard a lap led. We got to. We just have to. You know? Oh, wow. Somebody other than Daniel Suarez on my screen in this episode. He's just the president that he's gonna he's no longer in that car. I felt like this was his best season he's had. This was his best. He was not that good in the 43. He was forgettable for that matter. And the fact that he's somehow making some sort of minor noise, very minimal, is actually good. But we're here at the Fable Ground of Darlington. The only thing younger than Morgan the, the only thing that the only thing younger than that did not work. Darlington. Younger, that is that's something that Morgan Shepard is older than Darlington, by a couple of years. There you go, the beautiful Darlington facility without the throwback cars. So what I'm gonna do? Let's see how we do in qualifying here. I expect to be 40th in this track, and then this is where I really, really need to finish in the odd number position. If Darlington. It's not going to be fun. Well, let's try to make it fun. Let's try it. The point at Darlington here, after a while, you're done. It's like, you get a great run, and then once you get to a certain point in the race, you're not going to get any more. And that's where I get frustrated. Alright, one to go. Let's see what we can do. Got to qualify better than 40 of it. Derek Cope had a great run in 2004. And that hunk of junk auto motorsports before it became Jermaine. Then we have a shot here. Barely escaped from winning the wall. It's just barely not the wall. Oh boy, yep. We're qualifying last. We heard the tone. Fourteenth. Oh. Yes! I see Harrison Rowenson qualified! Yes! But oh, damn it, you know what this you know what this means? It's gonna be another walk in the park, but god damn it, I just that's when I say yes, I see Harrison Rose. I'm starting in the bottom. I mean the highland. Oh boy, we're gonna get just like two episodes ago where I mess up the order. Alright, gotta let Michael on that go. Four laps in this stage. As we're trying to just it all guy almost put Michael and Nevin on the wall. There's a lot of that. Uh oh, Justin all is ahead. That's not good. We're trying to get fourth in the points because we feel like we can do it. We can do this. But we're certainly not gonna ever again. All is gonna be leading and get that playoff point in that big advantage. We're trying to 
get inside that top. You can try to just get it. Just try to get inside that top ten. Oh boy, tight. Here we go into Eric Jones. Well, I got into Eric Jones, but we nearly wrecked him. Go ahead, hang on, Lucy. Oh. Trying to keep him from gaining as much points as possible from me. Oh, got on the Suarez. All right, let's get third. If we can hang on to third, I will not be mad that Algar got a stage win and two point advantage. Will not be bad. Here we go, white flag on stage number one. I'm more, I'm happy where I am. I'm happy where I am right now. God damn it, the whole guy is gonna get that win, isn't he? We still got two more stages, so anything can happen. Anything can happen from here on out. Oh boy. Oh man. There might be a shot. Nope. What do I want? What do I want? What, what matters more? Can I beat Blake Cook? I think I'm going to be barely just short. Alright, I'm not mad. Sucks that all guy won that one, but... And we got now a four-point advantage. And more. A yeah, four-point advantage. So, let's try to win this stage. Win this sucker. Get five in a row. Win every race in this, in this sequence. And... Yeah, let's finish fourth, let's get the fourth in the regular season standings. Let's do this. This one is five laps, so here we go. Oh, yep. All guy, I'm here. I'm tired. I'm taking your fourth place to the standings from you. And I gored in that race hard, so that's not good. Because I'm lo I'm gonna lose third. Oh, yep, I'm gonna lose third if I if I put it, I went in too hard and hit him to the point where we both wrecked. All right, can we clear? No, we can't. Thank goodness, bonus points for leading laps are gone. Because otherwise, this would have been nothing. This, this discussion would not happen as far as me catching all guard in the standings. Here we go. Let's see if we can pass him clean. Hopefully. Oh, way low, way low. Can we stick it? Can we stick it? Can we stick it? Ricky Craven, Kurt Busch. New leader, Morgan Shepard. But can we clear him, though? All right, we got this one beat. Can we hang on? <laughs> That's the question. Can we hang on? Morgan Shepard did one lap, so I met my objective. Did you get Morgan Shepard a, a lead lap at Darling like he did in the election season? Come on, Cook. Come on, Cook. Pass him for second. Get him second. Is I pretty much might have another disgusting performance. I'm not mean in a negative way, in a positive way, that where I'm just embarrassing the field. Yeah. That describes my love. That describes me very a lot. That I don't think too much optimism because somehow, some way, we're leading this race at a hundred. Yeah, I would bump it up, but I've done a hundred of the whole season. I don't know if I'll bump it up just a bit in the playoffs and give it a run and see how I feel for him. But this is ridiculous. Come on, man. Look at this. If Blake Cook could get by all guy, that would be great. I think he might. I think he might. No, he won't. Come on, boy. Looking at that rear view mirror, looks like I'm only going to gain one extra point. Alright, so we're down to three. I think we're going to be the same amount of... We're going to be in the same amount of points apart, it seems. So I'm hoping 
So I'm hoping it's back to three. So I'm hoping these guys get by. These guys to the head of all guys get by him. I don't want to wreck him to do it. I don't want to wreck him. I want to make this pot. I want to make this as authentic as possible. Yes, I was running dirty. I was doing all that and stuff. But at this moment in the regular season, we gotta do. We gotta do whatever it takes to help. We gotta do whatever it takes. Oh, don't hit the wall. I got. Nope. I got a block. I got a block. Oh. Hi, Dylan. What are you doing? Got in the Blake. Three wide. That's not gonna work. That ain't gonna work. I'm in the meat of this sandwich. And somehow we're gonna hang on. Seven laps to go. Can I clear Morgan Shepard? Right now, I gotta keep not wreck anybody. Oh boy. Oh boy. We're wrecking. We're wrecking. We're wrecking. Get out the way. Get out the way. Did I mention Armageddon is here? Did I get no caution out of this? Yeah, I feel like restarting. Okay, all excuse me and we're running, we're running, we're running this tape again. We're restarting this tape. Yeah, this is, this, so this is what Armageddon is. I have, I'm so cowardly restart this damn race. I'm a fucking coward. So yeah, we're basically back where we were. Somehow we're better in this run than the first lap. Nuclear heat alert. Absolute pathetic. It's absolute pathetic. See, that's just this is a this is pathetic that I let that happen. This is pathetic. But anyways, it doesn't really matter because it looks like we're on. Where this is like this is like the re, this is like reruns. Algar is in front, Kirk in second, I'm in third. This is just basically a rerun. If I wanted to keep it the same, and it was just basically stage three, with the same amount of points, I will do that. And then we're then we're back to re, we're back to the beginning. This is like we're just re, this is this is this is like this episode. We should decide to cut it and make Morgan Shepard a god in this game. And I hit the wall, so it looks like we're gonna have the same result as the first stage and, try, and take one. Then again, freaking Kamikaze does the same shit, so he did it before, so. Yep. Nothing changed in stage one. I got third, and I'll got one, so basically, we're on re. We're, this is basically the same shit. It, as a, look at this. It's basically the same running order, except the only one that. No, 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 no. Clements was in, was in the top 10 by the start of stage three. Boy, what a terrible restart these guys have. Look at this. I'm gonna put a three wide over there. Blowing by. It's probably the best restart I've had. Nope, not anymore. I hit the wall. Can't have nice things. Yeah, I think that's the play. Well, this is what happens when you're trying to do a take two in this race. You get, you, we're gonna allow you to do something great, and then we're gonna win it for you. This is like rerun. I'm down to the bottom, except this time I did not stick it. So 
yeah, we're not going to lead as many laps, but then again, leading laps does not really matter because there's no bonus points to it. And I hit the wall barely. All right, Ricky Craven, Kurt Busch all over again. Oh boy. There we go. This is a rerun. Just not enough this time around. Just not enough. This is not Morgan Shepard, this championship mode. This is just Rowdy, this is just Rowdy Burns championship mode at this moment. And just like that, just, I pretty much got full total. But, uh, well, 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 yeah, this is, this is, this is, this is not what I wanted to do. This is just desperate cause caught bringing desperate measures in this race. Yeah, but this mindset is like, not today. If it was early in the season, I'll be like, fine, whatever, I'll take 39, but no, not today. Not today. Not with this type, not with this opportunity to rise where I can be in, in, barely in the top, inside the top five, just instead of just being it hanging on the top five. None of my contenders are right there, so... Put a threat. This is if I don't deserve it. I mean, damn sure don't deserve this win. I've done the damage. Yeah. I'm, yeah. From here on out, I'm not doing qualifying no more. It's just, it's just, yeah, it's just, it's just. I just stink in the field at this moment, where any time, if when I qualify, the only time I really did not stink the field was Indianapolis. All right, so here we go again. We're back at stage three. Two laps to go. Oh, oh I hit the wall. Yep, I deserve that. So. All right, let's make this a challenge, at least. I already made a challenge with my sub, and I took the easy way out of this one. Stay low, stay low. Sorry, stay Brandon. In. All clear, all clear. That should have been Eric Jones in that bumper, not me. All right, looks like my battle's going to be with Eric Jones in this one instead of Blake Cook and Allgaier. See if we can get by him clean. Oh. Get a little reminder that I'm here. Look what I did. Look at like, what I did. That little tapping, he's pulling away. Let's take a look at the top five. Oh, he's in third, so we gotta get going. Yeah, it's time to use that bottom line again. Let's try to make this possible. Let's try to get. Five in a row, a sweep in this episode, technically, but this one is pretty. If I were to win, this is going to be an uncovered win. It's time for more. It's time for NASCAR to penalize me at this moment. Like that, that my win should be a cover. Even, even the, even, even the almighty Morgan Shepherd's card can be tainted 
and have them roids in it where an astro finds out that and they've done something wrong. Of course, I gotta win the race to make this an uncovered win, of course. Three to go. Time running out. We get a good entry into turn number one, but when we come down to the exit at entry of turn two, he gains the lead. Well, not this time, but the last couple laps, I, said, I felt like I'm losing ground. Here we go. Gotta use the bottom. Gotta do a Phoenix style. Cannot stick. Two laps to go. I think it's that side damage that is hurting me quite a bit. Well, I'm not putting enough effort in it. Here we go. Oh, I put the bump. I put a made contact. Can't do it. Got two more shots of this. I think I got it here. Let's see if we can clear. Oh, we got this one. Oh, look at that. Look at that slide job. Denny Hamlin style. White flag is out. One lap to go. Five in a five in a row on the line. Episode sweep on the line. Win number 11 on the line. Boy, not too much in that corner, but it looks like I'm gonna just hang on quite a bit as long as I don't choke it. Let's take a look at the standing Elliot Seller in third, but I don't think the GOAT is gonna get by the real GOAT, Morgan Shepard. And for the 11th time this season, Morgan Shepard is gonna cross the line in first. However, this win will be encumbered, so none of that matters. And I got a hundred, but I can't really enjoy this one after that fiasco where I have to restart the whole damn race Just because I'm desperate to get fourth in the standings just because and yeah, I deserve it Mr. No business in the top ten. I'm pretty sure he's now a playoff contender. That's just awesome. That's just that's just fucking awesome. That's great. That's great. That's awesome Fuck him though And just like that we're fourth to the point. I firmly believe there's a slight chance we could, could we could get third, but yay! An uncovered win by Morgan Shepard because I had to is because I had to restart the damn race. Yeah, whoop de doo, whoop de doo. Morgan Shepard won at Darlington. Let's get out of here. I don't. They, this I even I know this win is not worth celebrating. It's tainted. And I got the fastest lap of the race, but <sighs> fuck. So yeah, next next episode is going to be only two races, the final two of the regular season, which will be Richmond and Chicago. I have a comp, I have a good feeling we could do well in Chicago and in Richmond, we might have a chance as long as Daniel Suarez is not too OP about it. So here are the results of these three races. Keep in mind Darwin said in my book I'm going to make that as an encumbered win. So yeah, 11 wins this season. We've just been on a hot streak, but Here's the point standings. Brendan Jones still in 12. Here's Mr. No Business in 15. Just, just this is just putrid. This is, yeah, I just serve it. Every time when I look at the standings, I keep forgetting to show you the playoffs. For whatever reason, there's a glitch that Brendan Jones still needs a win, and he appears twice. Here you go. Here's your standings. There's Kevin Harvick in 12. Only eight drivers are in the playoffs. Look at this. I just pretty much. Keep decimating this field, but yet I'm not. I'm still fourth in the standings after qualifying. They're not bothering to qualify until this one. So, so for the next episode, I'm not gonna do this formula. I'm not. I'm not. It's not worth it. Well, this level of difficulty, the way I'm just obliterating the field, I'm just gonna stick to race only, and hope for the best. So yeah, until we meet again, this has been a debacle. Yet otherwise dominant episode of Morgan Shepard Championship Mode. So, on the next video, till we meet again, I'll catch you later. And hopefully, a cumbered wins don't happen. Let's just hope no more. Just no more.